I'm sorry, you used your what? How did you do this? Please tell me you dis- I did the blood! Oh no, not in the blood! No, 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 no! Hello, my YouTubians! It is I, your girl, coming back to you for the bonus episode, episode 11 of the Sandman. You guys asked for it, you guys got it, all right? Because that is just the type of accommodating person that I am. But before we even get started, let me go ahead and do this little intro that I got, and then we can get on with the show. Hi, I'm Shalea, and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, and if you're not, Hey fam, around here I like to say that anybody who hits the subscribe button is family. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and label yourself as aunties, uncles, nieces, nephews, cousins, grandpas, grandpas, and anything else in between because that is what you are and yes guys, we family. <laughs> Alright fam, with that all being said, let's get on with the show. I'm really interested to see what this is about because like you guys gave me a few little snippets here and there I know it's a, an animation to begin with it's about cats and I know the second one's supposed to be about Morpheus and his past life and stuff so I'm really excited to get into that part I'm not sure if the cats thing is related to the second part or if it's two standalones but we'll see but whoever did the animation though did a very good job it's very good damn near lifelike mm -hmm. it's tonight are you coming? You gonna go exploring? Don't get lost. Get out. All the wall openings are closed. Up there, a clear hole is partly open. You can get out through. Wow, man, those stairs look really long. I hope it's for something important, because you got me struggling up these stairs to go somewhere. Make your tail, little one. We mustn't miss this. It's like I know I'm a cat, but dang, I'm still a baby. <gasps> Grab him. All calm and stuff. I won't wait. Where are they going? Some type of cat congregation? What will she be like? What will who be like? The queen of the cats? We're going to see her. Me too. Although, I can't see much point to it. Then why are you here? Hmm. Curiosity? Curiosity, perhaps? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> but you know what they say about that curiosity kitty. I hope this doesn't turn into some type of cat rebellion, because I got three cats, and the last thing I need is to go to sleep tonight worried about one of my three cats attacking me. Sisters, brother, Aww, good hunting. She's pretty. Once, like many of you, oh, they fed me and gave me comfort. They served me. Just like cats to think that this is a, like that we're serving them. All they asked in return was my affection. Heck, and we barely get that. Honestly, with my three cats, I get affection when they feel like it. What's that, some type of cone? Or was that just she fell in love? He was my choice of lover. I never saw him again. Oh, y'all had one night? Why didn't you keep her inside? She's a purebred registered blue point. He's a half-breed. They're not worth anything. Oh no. Don't do nothing reckless, sir. Please don't hurt her kitties. Man, that's sad. <gasps> Are you serious? Y'all, no! Not the kitties! Oh, that is such a heartless person. Only a heartless person could do something like that. Kitties? I felt them from afar, in the dark. God, I can't imagine that. Both of them called to me, and then they were gone. No wonder she hates humans. I would have hated my master, too. For God's sake, it's not as if she understands. I mean, look at her. She's probably relieved. Relieved? You killed her babies! I knew then that we were supporting it. I prayed to the king of cats, and I dreamed. <laughs> Why have you come here, little cat? To the heart of the demon. Who's he? Some type of dead crow? I have come for justice, for revelation, for wisdom. Justice is a delusion. Hmm. And wisdom has no place here either. Interesting. But revelation, that is the province of dream. Fascinating. That is some fascinating things he just spit out. That little b bone bird just spit out. But like, I can't fully grasp all he said right now. I have to take it in, contemplate that for a little bit. In the mountain, there is a cave. You'll find him there. But the way is hard. Now he gonna say wisdom has no place here as he gives a little bit of, of wisdom. Or maybe that's just advice. Is advice different from wisdom? Mm. I walked through the wood of ghosts with the dead and lost whispered to me. I heard my children calling me. But I walked forward. Damn. Is that part of her nightmares? 
I walked through the cold places. Every step was pain, every movement, torment. Now, is she in a dream? I thought she was in a dream, but I didn't know you could feel this much in dreams. I don't know, maybe that's stupid. The void, where everything was sucked from me, even when I no longer knew why. I walked forward. Okay, chick. I've come to see the cat of dreams. Why should he be disturbed for one such as you? Hey, the bone bird told me to come here, so I came. You better let me see this, king. I've come too far to be turned away. I know that's right, girl. I literally walked till I was bone worried. You better show me this king of cats. I am a cat. I keep my own counsel. <sighs> that's why I love cats, because cats are so regal and proud. Enter then. But be warned, dreams have a price. Everything has a price. Why not dreams? And I walked on. Is she about to run into Morpheus? And is Morpheus gonna be a cat or is he gonna be in human form? Oh, that's cool. Morpheus is a cat. I want to know, why could they take my children from me? Why do we live as we do? Because you are domesticated. <laughs> Look into my eyes, my little sister. Look into my eyes. I'm the captain now. Fuck. That was cute. That was pretty. Many, many seasons ago. Ooh, naked people! Really? Fascinating. Is this now is this real history or is this just a dream? We would have them. And man. Mm. Well, I assume after so much of that, the human said, I don't think I want to get killed by cats anymore. Not even trying to be me. <laughs> but if you play, literally play with me just to eat me, that cat looked like Attack on Titans for a second. I, mm -mm. Cats gotta go. Cats gotta go. And rose amongst them, inspired by a dream. He told them, enough of them dreamed. They dreamed. Things changed. Wow. Who knew you were so powerful? They changed it from the beginning of all things to the end of time. You understand now? Yes. Yes, I do. Then you know what your task must be. She gonna run away? And wherever I have gone, my message is the same. Dream it. If enough of us dream, a bare thousand, we can dream a world where no cat suffers. You know what that reminds me of? That reminds me of that episode of Doctor Who where Martha had to go throughout the uh, world and spread the message of the doctor so everybody would believe in him. And at a certain time and day, they believed in him enough that they got him powerful again. I don't know if y'all saw that episode. It's a really good episode of the doctor with David Tennant and uh, my girl Martha. But that's what that, that's what this kind of makes me think of. Oh, look, she's still asleep. Oh, Lord. I think she's dreaming. I wonder what cats dream about. Don't tell me she's dreaming about killing humans. Don't it's dream about killing dream. us, kitty. We love you. Ah. Is that Rory? Speaking of the doctor, first Jenna Coleman, now Rory. The doctors, are, the doctor's companions, when they show up in a show, it seems like they show up in twos, okay? They stay giving each other work. I like to see Rory in some films. I haven't seen him in anything since uh, Legends, since he played that captain in Legends of Tomorrow. So it's good to see him again. What's the character to do something just because it's easier for you as a writer? So he's a writer? I always wanted to take a writing class, but I never had the time when I was in college. They made me take English and just, after taking that first English class, I just didn't want to take nothing else that had to do with writing. Who's she? Tick's I'm doing. What's that? I actually wanted to be a writer. It's never too late, girl. But my parents insisted I have something to fall back on. Wow. You're better off. I promise. Somebody's morbid about their job. If you wouldn't mind. The least you could do is read her shit. Would you sign this? I thought she was going to ask them to read her novel or something. Any idea when the new book is coming out? Probably not. Something tells me he don't know what he's about to write yet. Which would be bad. I hope he's not on a deadline. This is going very slow, I will say that. I'm used to I'm used to Sandman going a little bit more paced, but I guess it's another one of those we gotta set the scene for everything, so when everything collides in the end, we understand. Understandable, but sometimes it just be really slow process. I'll be straight down. I hope they ain't doing no seance or nothing. And does this have anything to do with the cat? Are we still in the same universe or is this a, another universe and a completely different story? My wonderings, my musings. A genuine trichino bezoa. What is that? What is it? They're generally removed from the stomachs of young women. Oh my god. Who are in the habit of ingesting their own hair. Ew. Well, at least it's not some bug or insect or shit. But still, gross. It would the fourth survive the effects of a poison wound due to the possession of a bezel. Where'd he get it from? What's that? His vault? Please tell me he ain't got nobody hidden down there. Excuse? Oh, 
know. He's got a person down there. Of course he does. Is she a spirit or a god or shapeshifter? What is she? Richard, this is Calliope. She was Homer's muse, so she won't be good enough for you. Wait, she's an actual muse? Wait, are muses goddesses or demigoddesses? What are they? She said that you would free me before you died. Put not your trust in princes or in an aging author. When it came to keeping his word. Wow. He's an asshole. I hope you die painfully. But you promised. Writers are liars, my dear. He's terrible, y'all. I hope he dies a painful death. And here I was thinking he was such a sweet old man a second ago. How they fool you. They fool you good. Say I found force most dedication. Yo. She wasn't created for you to torture her. She was created to inspire people, I'm sure, of her own free will. Not from you forcing her. Now, uh, take the little cow away, Richard. I never want to see either of you again. Oh, well, damn. Fuck you, too. Something tells me theirs was a rocky relationship. I hope she made his life miserable. Rory, I hope you do the right thing and set her free. Don't be like Arami. Aramis. Don't be like Fry. Don't be like him. I just need time. To think about what to do. You know who he sounds like? He sounds like old dude from the first episode. Can't think of his name right now, but you know which one. Kill the kill the raven. I gotta think about it. You have a captured person there in your person. What else is there to do but set her free? I will, I promise. But um, do you think you could inspire me? Just for one book, and then I will let you go. Yeah, that's what old dude said. I swear I will. I'm sure. Don't do it, girl. Don't do it. He gonna get addicted to the inspiration and he not gonna let you go. Writers are liars. Perhaps we both need time to think. Wow. Okay. So you see what's happening. Now he's bartering her freedom for his inspiration. He was never gonna let her go. And I wouldn't give him a lick of inspiration. I'd be just like Morpheus. I wouldn't even speak to him. Hope you and your ideas rot in hell. How about you take my to kiss for inspiration? Boy, you ain't about to buy me with your trinkets. I am a goddess. She was Homer's muse for God's sakes. You gave Erasmus Fry what he wanted. I did not. He forced her. He took it from me. You heard him say he used force. So why are you acting like she did it of her own free will? Unless you say the words that I may be as free as you are. You think I'm free? Oh, sir, you know what she means. You know what she means. Get your... Don't make me say it, y'all. You think I'm free? You're free to come and go as you will. You're free to leave this piece if you want to. Let's not act like you ain't free. I got the advance for this book two years ago. I haven't even started it yet. Don't compare your book deals to her actual freedom. Ask me again when I am free. But I bet you won't do that, will you? Ugh, he is so annoying. If you're not gonna free her, then just go and find inspiration where other freaking writers who don't have muses do. Out in the world, go be free. Be free to walk around as you can because she can't walk around the way she wants to. Look around, get some inspiration. You better be fucking writing. I would be if you weren't calling to harass me. Bye. I don't know what they want me to do. Um, come up with a book. Next time, don't write down a deadline if you don't think you can complete it or if you don't even have an idea of what it's going to be. Why would you even give a deadline? That's on you. You're stupid for that. I'm sorry, but there won't be anything I can do because you'll no longer be my client. Do you understand that? Mm-hmm. They about to drop you. That's what you get. Maybe you should just let her go. Say something so I know you understand I understand. Boy, if you go and torture her or force her to do something, then that is going to be the point where we cannot be friends, and I don't know if I can root for you anymore. Not the ominous music. Calliope. Rory, something tells me we're not going to be friends, y'all. What did he do? I don't even want to know. I hate him. He got his shirt all unbuttoned, marks all on his face. I don't even want to know what he did. Terrible. Destroy him. He's now crossed the line of no return, guys, and I can no longer root for him. Gracious ladies, mother of the command, hear my prayer. It is I, your daughter. Has she prayed to them before? Why did it take them so long? Is this her first time praying to them? Did she think she could do it on her own? Now she praying to them? Has she been praying to them and they ain't been listening to her? I just need to know. I'm a little bit confused on this. Is it like Morpheus and Death where Morpheus was over in a thing talking about ain't nobody coming free me and then Death is over here like, dude, you didn't you didn't call us. Is it one of those situations, y'all? Ah, oh, come on, Crown, you looking cute. No one who can intercede on my behalf? Any gods have died, my daughter. Only the endless never fade. Wow, all the gods are dead. 
then how do you old bitches always manage to survive? After all, the Dream King and Calliope were close at one point. She did bear his cup. No! That boy child who went to Hades for his lady love and died in Thrace, torn apart for his sacrilege. Okay. I'm not up on my Greek mythology. Calliope and Morpheus' son. Wait, that's not the actual one. I'm looking for the Greek mythology. Mythology. <laughs> all right, honey, just go do some research now. I, somehow through the internet and because all of y'all in the fandom has blown this up so much, I can't tell which is actual Greek mythology and which is part of the Sandman trilogy. I don't know if you, if Neil used the actual story or if he used a different version of the story, but I did get this part. Now, the child that they're talking about, his name is Orpheus, I think. I think I got that part if I looked it up right. I, I got that part right. I I didn't need to know too much else. I just wanted to know who the son was. And I got that part. So, all right, let's continue. Orpheus. Y'all, why do I that looking up and shit and they done told me the damn name right there? I hate myself. Why do I do this to myself? <laughs> Sitting over here going through all that research <laughs> when I could have just waited for this old crone to tell me the damn name. I hate... Ah! Dream King will never help me. Not after what I did to him. Girl, what you do to him? Why ain't you in Haiti? Why ain't you riding in hell? Your mama's told him no. <laughs> I would not accept his help. Who near us is in no position to help you, even if he wished it. Oh, was that his name back in the day? Oh, so this happened when he was still captured. Well done. With all that talk, I, I wouldn't wish for his help. Couldn't help if you wanted to, girl. <gasps> look, you see the look on her face? She was like, oh, damn, I was bluffing for real. I really was going to ask for his help. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. I am sorry. There's nothing we can do for you. And nothing you can do but hope. Dang, don't that suck. You trapped, girl. 2020. All right. So what has she got about two more years before Morpheus is free? Are you ready? Now. Of course not. Yeah. 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 One may say he is. I do tend to regard myself as a feminist writer. Ugh. Get away from me. Where does that voice come from? The female voice? From the women in my life. What women in your life? From what I know, there's only one woman in your life. And she hates you. When does Morpheus get out? Does he get out in 2022? Two more years, girl. You're going to have to wait two more years to get uncaptured. I know it's going to be a long wait. But trust me, when revenge come, it's going to be sweet. Did that say 2022? Hold on. Say 2022? <laughs> Y'all, something tells me we about to get some justice up in this piece. Maybe we'll decide to. Stay in LA. We'll decide. Maybe we will decide. I don't even have to say it. You'll decide. Can you not allow yourself to enjoy our success? Can you not free me so I can enjoy my liberation? We are telling stories that move and inspire people. <sighs> Isn't that what muses were made for? You're as bad as Fry now. Yeah, girl, you saw that shit, did you? Morpheus is out. I need them to guarantee cast and crew will be made up of at least 50% women and people of color. Wait, what are you doing? I'm like, okay, that's cool, Roy. I like that you're into the diversity, but at the same time, I kind of feel like he's only doing it because he knows it's a good sell at the moment. I don't know. He's an evil, oily motherfucker right now, so I can't trust anything he does. Where's she going? I know she can't leave, so where's she going? That's kind of crazy, though. She's still wearing the same chemise or nightgown or dress or whatever it is you want to call that shit, which means I'm like, has she bathed? Much like Morpheus, I'm wondering, do goddesses bathe? And I went bathing, as I'd always Do they, I mean, I'm sure they don't urinate or nothing. What's she up to, though? Go to your own house, that you may hear me. Oh, trying to call Morpheus. Come to my aid when I say your name out loud. I thought you would never call him. Ah, oh, shit. You can't call him if you tried. Busted. And you gotta check front and back. Side to side. Come on. Hello. I see your true colors shining through. You know, much like Jane and Michael when they daddy burned a letter and it went all up into the smoke and Mary Poppins caught it, I hope that this actually activated the spell and Morpheus somehow got the call. Bad signal, if you will. Having read Eagle Stones, the writer that came to mind was the late Erasmus Fry. Sorry, did you say the late Erasmus Fry? He's, um... He did, baby. He actually poisoned himself. I didn't think that was the way the old man was gonna go. Apparently, the last thing he did was write a letter to his old publisher begging them to bring one of his books back into print. Here comes a candle. I suppose. What's up with him in that book? It's a shame people stop reading him. Not that you'll have to worry about that. You're Richard Maddock. And at one point, he was Aramis Fry. You came. You called. 
Mm. Nice to see he wouldn't leave somebody else unlike some people. Free naughty y'all. Never forget. To this day! Things are just about to get interesting. I know that you cannot free me. Perhaps you might inspire him. Mm, girl, I'm sure he can dream up a few things. And we'll do all that and more. Mm-hmm. You better. Dream. He must be punished. Why? Because I was once yours. No, chick, because you were imprisoned by him and tortured by him. What do you mean? Because he hurt you. Girl, if you don't shut up and let this man avenge you. Let me help you. Please. When you say it like that, what choice do I have? <laughs> Girl, shut up and let him help you. <laughs> what will you do to him? Let me worry about that. <laughs> Nightmarish things, I'm sure. Who the fuck are you? Your worst nightmare. Get out of my house. Be quiet. Mm hmm The games is over! Do you know who I am? I know precisely who and what you are, Richard Mudder. Now he just got real scared that quick. Oh shit, he know who I am. I mean, he don't care. Oh. Look, I, I have money. Hold your tongue. You think I care about your ideas and your silly money, mortal, compared to her freedom? A goddess's freedom? To freedom! If you don't get your chump change out of my face. Now you will not set her free because you need ideas. Well, I'm about to give you all the ideas. If it's ideas you want, then you shall have them. In abundance. Mm-hmm, Morpheus, give him all the dreams, all the nightmares, wreck his waking days, torment his sleeping nights. Too much? What did you do to me? Who, me? You have met Morpheus. He was once my husband and the father of my son. And that's on a period. Aren't you scared? I didn't know you had a son. You didn't care to ask! It is too late to let any of that concern you now. Mm-hmm, you're his bitch now. You think this door's about to stop anything now, dude? The door means nothing now! He thought about the story. When does the nightmare begin? Morpheus, it's too slow. I know you like to lay a scene, but dang, get him now! Your work spans so many genres. Where does all that come from? <laughs> hmm, well, there's a lady in my basement that I just keep locked up, you know? <laughs> I call her my muse. <laughs> Ideas don't come from anywhere. They're all around us. If only you got your ideas from there. The story about the fraternity of critic, dark brethren, sacrifice a child before the critical mass. It's a little darker than we thought. Or a city where the streets are paved with time. A train full of silent women, driven by a blind man. Oh, I get it. I get it. He said he's gonna give him all the ideas. He's literally gonna fill his brain with ideas. A literal brain fuck. <laughs> A goldfish. What? <laughs> Who transforms into a wolf at full moon. You can't help yourself. They should be writing these ideas down. He's just giving them away for free. Get your pen and paper, children. Right! Freak did he do to himself? I'm just having so many ideas. I didn't have a pen or any paper. I just used my hand. I'm sorry, you used your what? How did you do this? Please tell me you dis- I did the blood. Oh no, not in the blood. No, 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 no. Please, go to my house. There is a woman in a room upstairs. She's locked up in there. Wait, wait, what? This is a little much. Now I said, hold on, now I found out you a whole ass kidnapper. Mm -mm, girl, we got to go. Call the police. Call the police. Take my keys, let her out. Make her leave. Make her go away. I signed a book for you, didn't I? You want me to become an accomplice to your kidnapping? Because you signed a freaking book for me? Boy, if you don't get out of my face! Oh, I know chemical tradition is seen as a cargo cult. <laughs> Girl, y'all too nice, cause once I heard a uh, kidnapping, I would have I would have been like, uh oh, mm-mm. He's 911's now, or what do they what do they have in England? I don't know. But whatever form of 911 they have in England, that that's what I would be calling. <laughs> Hello? Ah, oh, she must have hit herself from him, or... It's over. Oh, okay. It worked. I can't believe it worked like that. That's cool. Yay, girl, you, you're you free! You free! I should even tell she got a wardrobe change. Ha <laughs> ha, you free, girl, you free! What will you do now? Go home, live, frolic in a field, something. Try to make sure that this never happens to anyone else. Oh, that's sweet. I'm rewriting the laws by which I was held. Laws that were written long ago in which my sisters and I have no say. Oh, you can do that? That's nice. You have changed, Oniros. In the old days, you would have left me here to rock without turning a hair. <laughs> what, did that hurt? The truth? I think you should release the mortal now. He has set me free. And without forgiveness, wounds will never heal. Well, aren't you more than kind? You would forgive for what he has done. 
Morpheus didn't do the same to his captive. <laughs> I will not forget what he has done, but I must forgive the man. All right, Calliope, you are a better woman than I am, or a better goddess than I am. <laughs> I did what you asked. Something she said. The paper of forms. There was a name. She wrote it down. I Burnt it. That's what you get. You lucky you didn't get the police called on your butt. I forgot she was a goddess and they don't get police involved. But shoot. God, I wish I could remember. So hard to think all of a sudden. At least you got some form of justice. She's gone. And it's all done with her. Dang. So I guess Morpheus said, oh, I'll release him of all ideas. What are you talking about? I have no idea. Morpheus is still a petty god, I will say. Thank you, Monero. I will not forget you. Yo, I've been sitting here watching this whole thing and completely forgot all about the cat, the cat thing beforehand. So that was a standalone? We not going back and referencing the cats no more? We just gonna leave that one kind of open-ended? Was it one of those stories that you just are left to ponder about? Oh, that's it. That's really it. So we don't go back to the cats at all, y'all? Oh, I'm kind of upset about that. I feel like the cats are still kind of open-ended. I wonder if we're gonna go about it in like a, a future season or something or if that was really... I don't no. It was a cute ending. I enjoyed it. Her walking into her freedom. Wait, David Tennant. I didn't see David Tennant in any of this. Who was? What was David Tennant? Who was David Tennant? Dang, was he one of the cats or something? He was probably one of the cats. Cause I didn't see him in any of this. So I'm, I'm assuming he was one of the cats. Doctor Who is all up in this piece. Okay, is they got a producer, or somebody who's just bringing everybody back? I love that for them. That's the ending of it, guys. That's the bonus track. I'm kind of, I'm kind of, I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little disappointed. I kind of thought that we were gonna get conclusions to both of those, like conclusions to both of those stories, but I feel like we only really got a conclusion to Calliope. I mean, you guys did say it was only supposed to explain a little bit more about Dream and his powers, and I guess it did explain a little bit of that, but it also makes me wonder about the cats. And if like later on it's gonna be something about the cats coming and taking over after they get like a thousand of them to dream. That's kind of scary. That's a scary thought to think about. Then they're gonna go all attack on Titan on our asses. <laughs> and I mean, I don't know the entire story. I'm gonna have to go look that up later on and figure out the entire story with that. But it was still nice to see Morpheus uh, showing more signs of character growth and showing that he has actually in fact changed. Which makes me even more excited to see the next season because I wanna see see what all he does to the dream world now that he's decided to change things up and will he like change things up too much and then feel like too much change is happening and then try to like you know backpedal back or will he like go gung-ho into it and then there's going to be some other outside obstacles that wreak havoc in the storyline i haven't forgotten about lucifer i want to know about the ending but i also it's like i want to read ahead but i kind of don't because i don't want to um i don't want to spoil it for myself when i watch the show i feel like if i read it now and then I watch then when I finally watch it on the show I'm go it's gonna be too fresh in my mind and I'm not gonna enjoy it as much I do that with a lot of mangas that I read I'll read the mangas and then I'll watch the show and then I'll kind of like stop watching the show because I've already read the manga and I don't want to do it with this show because I enjoy it so much so I think at first I was gonna start reading it but now I think I decided not to because I wanna I wanted to be surprised and I think once it's all over then like I'm gonna go back and read it like I'm I might read chapters one or two the ones that have to do with this season but I'm not gonna read further than that if I do decide to read it and I'm also gonna start reading the audible when I get a chance to but I think that's all I have to say guys yeah I'm going to the point of rambling and you know your girl's not one for long conversation so before we all exit stage left please be sure to hit that like button if you enjoyed the review and the reaction and hit the subscribe button if you enjoyed it so much that you want to come back for more content because your girls got more coming for you and with all that being said guys this is Shalea Homebody your humble host wishing you all adieu, a vida zay, good zoom tight and farewell Welcome.